everybody. Yo! Back at it again with a Toge Stars video. <laughs> it's been hot minute, huh, Brian? It's been four years, dude. <laughs> so that means that my suspension is, uh, only lasted about four years because by the time when you guys, like, uh, yanked it all out, it was, it was pretty banged up, <laughs> pretty busted. Yeah. Yeah, now, anyway, for anybody out there, uh, watching us uh, brand new for the first time. Friends, tell them about your car. Okay, so this is a 2005 Acura RSX Space, which means that it's got about 160 horsepower, officially. But this car's about 17 years old now, so it's probably lost a couple. But, I just got the car serviced. And right now, this, I'm not gonna lie, this car feels really spry. right now <laughs> bit stiffly yeah so uh some things um some changes from the last video um this time i got a fresh canyon air filter um it's a drop in so like um i was gonna get a full-on intake but they just weren't available right now because you know uh post pandemic or you know the, supply chain issues are like still very much a thing so I um, yeah um, I just elected to get a cane and drop the filter the bigger change um, is that I now have a special kit from the fine people at Megan Racing shout out to you guys uh, and, and it is very very nice like I am taking these turns and sitting uh, than it was with the, uh, the previous coilovers. Woo, hello! Wow. One out here is, uh, on the mountain to have some fun. Yeah. It's been a fucking Dodge Durango. <laughs> yeah. No less. Did you hear that? Yep. Oh my god. Uh, one of the 
uh, the Cars anime. Yeah. Event. So, one thing that, like, I originally wanted to do for, like, this year was, um, I actually wanted to, like, do a, a, uh, um, a SSB, like, Toge run. That would end, um, you know, with us going to a Cars and anime. Unfortunately, the stars uh, never really, like, aligned for that, so, you know, I kind of just figured, well, once I get the coilovers installed, or, or full, full kit, then, you know, I come back and do a Soge run, and God, let me tell you guys, this just feels fucking fantastic. Man, look at that San Diego weather. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's been October right now, guys. <laughs> I know. This is what we've got. Okay, I think we're approaching like the tail end of this, so I can afford to be a little, a little conservative now.
somewhat Asian American looking youth. They never specified what ethnicity Max Boost was, but if you look at him, you can't tell. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, the comic begins with, um, you, you know, Max and his BFF Otto, you know, talking about their dream cars. And Max's dream car was a uh, Integra Type R. And uh, while they're, like, you know, just chilling, they get accosted by the high school jock, Todd, uh, who's got a V8 Mustang, you know, and Max challenges him, like, to a drag race with his non-existent Type R that he thinks his parents are going to buy him. And let's be real. If you were, like, a Filipino-American youth in the late 90s, did you really think your parents were going to buy you a goddamn Integra Type R? <laughs> just right off the bat. Right off the bat. <laughs> you just get your license. You're going to get it. Fuck no, you're not, dude. Like, my first car was a Toyota Camry. Granted, it was the mm -hmm. LE trim with a V6. Mine, so, mine was a Dodge Grand Caravan. <laughs> Yo, exactly. Exactly. Who, who's getting a Type R? Who's getting a goddamn, like, Type R as your first car, Are Max? Maybe, really? Maybe somebody did. I want to meet that person, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, they probably wrapped it around a fucking tree. Uh, but here we are now at the top. Yeah, we are at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what wound up happening was Max didn't get the Integra. He actually got a fucking Honda Civic P Green DX hatchback, non VTEC. I think it had a D Series motor in there. So. You know, Max or, or, or uh, Todd sees the uh, thing and then he's like, Are you fucking serious? Are you challenging me in that piece of shit? Nah. So, like, Max winds up doing a engine swap but getting him broke and he just winds up going on a bunch of like crazy misadventures. The comic ends on a cliffhanger though because mm -hmm. what, what wound up happening was that the parent magazine, uh, Importuner, their company, Prime Media, uh, they were going bankrupt because um, it was the uh, the big two, 2008 like housing market crash. Mm -hmm. So you know companies were going bankrupt like left and right. And uh, long story short, Importuner got like hand. Yes, yeah, well as a lot of other magazines. Yeah. At the time. So but yeah. So the magazine went on hiatus for a while until 2020 when. Uh, Dennis Kako uh, relaunched a Kickstarter, a couple fan groups, and he found people that were fans of the series from like w way back when, and of course now we're adults, so we have money to like you know support these kinds of projects. So now um, I am a backer of uh, of volumes one, two, and three, and uh, there's a special um, thing for like uh, volume three, which is dropping real soon, but I can't say anything about it cool. beyond that. Uh, yeah, we made it, and, um, can you smell my tires? Yep, I can smell them. Yeah. Alright, are we gonna head down now? Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's take a couple pictures first, you All know? Right, cool. And so, then, that's gonna be the video for this one then, I guess. Oh, shit. Uh, let me just, wait, wait here. I'll be back. Oh, we're we gonna keep this video on? Yeah. Alright, cool. Cause then we'll just go downhill. Like there you guys go. You guys are now seeing Francis take a photo of his own car in the middle of this uh, video.
got them? Yep, I got them. And actually, of course, there's there's uh there's no reception out here. Nah, that's why well, we can't really stream something like this. I always wanted to one day, but yeah, there's just no it, signal. It wouldn't be watchable. <laughs> All right, well, time for the downhill. And probably have time enough to like go to convoy and get some tea. Alright, we taking seven down or six down? Uh, we'll take six. Six? Cool. Yeah, six is more twisty. Seven is the smoother, like, calmer drive. But you do have more of an opportunity to pick up speed, though. Mm -hmm. Six is the more technical course. Seven definitely has way more uh, cow grades. Yeah. Alright. Cross the sharp curve next seven miles. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous curves ahead, hell yeah. Alright, so now here we're, we're just gonna take we're just gonna take a more relaxed downhill drive now. I'm not gonna go like, you know, full tilt. You know, just you know, just going to enjoy the suspension a bit more, which I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, Brian, this is so spooky. <laughs> That's very nice. So, I want to make a couple more car shout-outs. Uh, first off, Cartoon. You guys are fucking awesome. Cartoon in San Diego. Cartoon. Love you guys. Um, in the convoy area, of course. Yeah, uh, they do good work. And, uh, and, and if you just need, like, you know, uh, any sort of car work done, just go to them. Great rates, friendly service. Um, plus, uh, they don't bullshit you. Like, they'll tell you exactly what the fuck is wrong, and then how much it doesn't cost to fix it. You know? There's no upselling. They're, they're just good, honest mechanics that happen to build race cars. And that, actually, honestly, I'd recommend them even more if you have, uh, you know, what you would call a race car, you know? Because, <laughs> yeah, they know what they're doing. They... They've been doing this for like um, um, almost like 15 years. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my sweet Jesus. Oh boy, it's 2022 and we're still out here. Yeah, we're still out here. Oh, your, look at this view, Brian. Your RSX. Still running, man. I'm still running, dude. Still having fun, though, you know, this car's got 300,000 miles now, like, I know that my parents, that they, they definitely want me in, like, something newer, but I'm not making any payments on this, <laughs> like, but I do understand, like, their concerns, though, like, you know, it's, what, they want something safer and newer? Yeah, just newer, you know, <laughs> like, like, like your brother. Yeah. Who used to drive the same exact car as you, mm -hmm. except uh, you know, in a different color. You guys both had the same car. Yeah. About three months apart, though. Like he got his like before prom, and then um, I got mine like after series one day. <laughs> <laughs> like um, after my shift, like uh, mom and dad said, "Hey, uh, come with us to the." Uh, to the dealership, it's uh, time to get short. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I saw it, and I'm like, the fucking RSX, holy shit. <laughs> wow. No more uh, Toyota, uh, yeah, Do you no, have Camry? No more Camry. <laughs> so, I've had this car for 17 years, and like, you know, it's like, no payments. Like, like all the maintenance is like taken care of. At this view. So I do remember during the uh, previous run, like um, there were moments when, even on the downhill, I could feel the car like you know kind of giving out, you know, like at speed. No, not at all. Not really trying to, you know. Uh, about 
San Diego, Brian. You know, you can drive just a little bit east and you'll wind up in the mine, uh, you know, in the mountains. You know, drive a little bit west and you'll, you know, wind up on the beach. It's very, it's a very California thing. Yeah. Oh, it definitely is. I do like how, uh, as we drive to, we have a uh, your uh, high school uh, tassel out here. Oh, that's actually my uh, college tassel. Oh, your college tassel. Yeah. So you guys can see the uh, it lean. Yeah, the G forces. One way or the other, as we as we drive. Yeah, and in, you know, this is just me going. You know, right now this is just me going at, you know, at a couple of clips. You know, I don't tend to be a street racer or, or, or anything like that. I just enjoy roads. That's all I am. Mm -hmm. Just a, just a connoisseur. Ooh, the series just now. Oof. Yep. A little bit of a S curve here, and then this, this one's going to be a pretty, pretty big hairpin. So you just gotta. But there is a, a physically pleasurable sensation, you, you know, like when you turn the wheel and go into a turn like that, you just feel good. Like, at no point um, have I felt the, uh, you know, the tires give. It's just... Like, everything about it is, is, is just... So 
up on our like Google Sheets, just let us know. And also, we still got to figure out if our, our gear still works. We haven't used this setup uh, in a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, no, we haven't. So it's gonna be a good test for us to like, you know, see what works, see what doesn't. We need to be upgraded. But I gotta say, you know, just going to Palomar Mountain like on a Thursday morning is perfect. No one else is here. If we went like on the weekend, you know, it'd be a lot more crowded. Oh yeah. Needless to say, a bit more dangerous too. Because you know, you definitely know that there'd be a few more like lead cases, like you know, the same shit we are, but faster. Granted, you know, I'm still fun to pull it, so like, you know, I've got the time to like do this. But yeah, like, normally I'd have to uh, take some time off. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go down just a little further, and then once we get to uh, the B-76, we'll go ahead and cut it. Oh. Yeah, right here, uh, this would be the... This is where we started. Yeah. So, there are a few more turns um, on this route, and then once we get to the roundabout, then we'll go ahead and uh, end it there. Oh boy. So, 21 miles to the 15. Yeah, so right now, we are currently...
San Diego for more driving videos. And, and yes, I acknowledge that, like, we're not hood. At no point did we claim to be hood. We meant hood as in short, short for neighborhood.